psychoanalysis obviously starts with Freud. And it's, it's really the study of unconscious motivation that affects our behavior. Uh, Freud was a believer that uh, interpretation was curative, that telling people why they act a certain way was curative. Modern psychoanalysts don't really believe that. Um, I, don't, I think there are a lot of people with plenty of knowledge, but knowledge is not itself curative. If I told you why you were acting certain ways, uh, you know, your mother dropped you on your head when you're one, okay. You're going to feel any different? You're going to change your behavior? Probably not. So I think modern psychoanalysis, which is founded by Hyman Spotnitz, I happen to be blessed. I happen to work side by side uh, with Spotnitz for 20 years without knowing he was this wonderful, well-known uh, man. Uh, but he figured out a number of things. And Freud also didn't believe you could work with uh, people with severe mental illness like schizophrenia. Uh, Spotnitz did it quite successfully. My practice goes from the basic neurotic, like you and me, to people suffering with schizophrenic and, schizophrenia and everybody in between. So. Uh, and it's really, I think what's different about modern psychoanalysis is the understanding that it's a dyad. It takes two people to make this work, the patient and the therapist, the analyst. That the patient doesn't do all the work, the analyst doesn't do all the work. That it's finding sort of that dance and that marriage of the two people uh, that makes it work.